Drew Copley, and this is a County News Minute. You may have seen one of these at various locations across the county. What is it? It's an electric vehicle charging station. Not only that, electric car ownership is up at an all-time high nationwide. So with me today is Samantha McNeil from Public Works Department, and she's going to tell us how your county is getting charged up. So let me ask you, why are these stations being added now? The ownership of electric vehicles is on the rise. It's at an all-time high, and the numbers are increasing year after year. All of the major manufacturers have electric or hybrid vehicles in their portfolio. In addition, the demographics of electric vehicle ownership match perfectly with the York County demographics in terms of income, education level, household size, and as the popularity increases, we want to make sure that here in York County, we're ready for an increase in the number of electric vehicles in the area. Is there a specific reason these locations were even chosen? We chose the locations based on their availability to York County programs and services. We also chose areas that, are, that heavily promote tourism. So the Yorktown waterfront is very popular during the fall and summertime when we've got people from out of town. So now both locals and tourists coming into the area have the ability to use the multiple charging stations. All five of them are open 24-7. So it's great to have these charging stations around the county, such as places like the library, Riverwalk Landing, because people can charge their car and then go explore your county. Absolutely. It definitely promotes the programs and the services that we provide in local libraries, as well as all of the amenities that we have down at the Riverwalk. So there are different levels of chargers, and obviously those use up different amounts of electricity. We in York County here have level two, so how much do they cost? There's no cost to the public to use these. These are free to the public 24-7, and the cost to the county is very minimal. Could you tell us about the app people are using to find these charging stations? The PlugShare app is actually one that any member of the public who is using one of these charging stations can load pictures, locations, things like that into this app. And they're available to additional users. And Drew, in fact, the first charging station that was located onto the PlugShare app was by one of our users that took pictures in the Riverwalk Landing parking garage. And now the community has contributed more to that. So yes, we definitely want to install additional electric vehicle charging stations across the county. Thank you, Samantha, for the insight into all of that. Now, whether you have one or not, or you're considering getting an electric vehicle in the future, remember, when you do, your county will be ready to charge you up. This is Drew Copley with another County News Minute.